All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another comic book trailer related type of video. Going to be giving my thoughts on the first official trailer for the next big X-Men movie. Can't wait for it. Apocalypse. Great, so this one is set for release May 27, 2016. Cannot wait to see the next X-Men movie. Um, to kind of give you guys my thoughts on the previous, I mean, I've, I pretty much love the X-Men franchise most of the way through. Um, Days of Future Past, I think, is probably, to this point, the best X-Men movie, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, that one just fixed the whole damn franchise and corrected a lot of the things that happened in X-Men 3 that kind of, uh, you know, ruined it. Um, so Brian Singer is going to be returning for this one. He's going to be directing it again, which uh, is fantastic news because he did, you know, X-1, X-2, Days of Future Past. And uh, this one features the uh, kind of like the earlier crew. So you have your kind of first class crew uh, with your younger, you know, your younger Professor X, your younger uh, Mystique and everybody like that. Uh, because the timeline has been reset after Days of Future Past, so it's in the new timeline, the new time stream. And um, you also have the kind of, when you think of First Class, the comic book version of First Class, which is actually your, you know, your original X-Men. You have your Gene, you have your uh, Cyclops, and um, uh, do we see Iceman? No, Iceman, of course, in the movie is later on. He's part of First Class in, uh, you know, the original. Uh, but Beast and... Um, you know, Storm and the rest that have been, you know, a younger version of. So so you have a lot of newer uh, actors, actresses that are playing the parts of, you know, the older version, um, you know, because this is at an earlier point in time. The only one we don't really see is Wolverine. So I'm not sure if Hugh Jackman's going to be in this one or not, maybe just for a quick cameo or something. But it looks like he's not going to be the star of it like he was in Days of Future Past. Um, which is fine because he kind of lost his memory at this point anyway. He doesn't really know where he is, who he is, or anything like that. So um, this one's prior to, I guess, X1. Yeah, this would happen before X1. So this would be, you know, he wouldn't yet have kind of joined the X-Men in this new time stream, but kind of sort of. <laughs> it's a little messy, but yeah, I guess that's basically the idea. So unfortunately, no, no Wolverine in this one, but we've had, you know, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in tons of X-Men movies. It will be awesome to get to see, um, you know, uh, kind of a fresh team with, uh, with a different Rob. Um, roster. So we have Sophie Turner, who of course is from Game of Thrones, who's going to be playing Jean, who I think is like a perfect cast, because when you when you think about even the hair color and everything, it just fits perfectly and looks a lot like her. I like the uh, the girl's cast of Storm. I think she looks a bit, well, maybe a little bit like Halle Berry, but, you know, it's noticeable, but it, it, you know, it still looks good, should be good. You can even see Jubilee in there. We've got uh, Michael Fassbender returning as uh, Magneto. We've got uh, Olivia Munn as, as Psylocke, which is really cool. And of course, you know, Apocalypse. So you've got Apocalypse, the Four Horsemen, which is your uh, Magneto uh, in this one. Um, you have uh, Archangel, Psylocke, and Storm. That's his four chosen. Uh, good choices, I think. You know, Magneto, super powerful. Storm, also incredibly powerful. Psylocke, very strong, cl close uh, combat, hand to hand type deal. Um, got the psychic, you know, angle in there as well. And, um, you know, Archangel just, you can even see a scene of him in this just looks so cool with kind of the, uh, the, the, the spikes or spines that he fires out of the, uh, the, uh, Archangel metal wing. So really, really cool, man. Um, in terms of the look of it and the trailer itself, I like, I like all the mentions of Apocalypse. I think he looks super badass. I like the costume, nice and blue, and you've got kind of the high-tech mixed in. There's a kind of a weird scene here where I think it's, I think Professor X tries to punch him, and he, like, grabs his fist, and then he starts to grow, and he just, like, squishes him. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, uh, but I like, uh, he looks a little little silly, but, hey, you know, they're going to keep it to the comic book version. It's, it's cool. It's still cool. Um, and then let's see, later on we have the part with uh, Professor X where he's using Cerebro and his eyes become black and he says he's never felt power like that before. So that's really cool. Apocalypse is one of your best, uh, biggest, baddest X-Men villains. He's kind of like your big bad. I think he'd be like the equivalent of Thanos to the Avengers. You're looking at Apocalypse to the X-Men. Really, really cool. First mutant and everything. Uh, got the pyramids, got all that. Was set up for in Days of Future Past with that flashback sequence. And it looks, it just looks amazing all around. I can't wait to see it, man. I, I don't know, you know, where my hope should be for this one. It looks great. Um, I'm sure with Brian Singer, it's going to, it's going to be great. Uh, but so much of the movie is still kind of a mystery as to what it's going to entail. Of course, Apocalypse is going to bring the apocalypse, so to speak, come the apocalypse and try to 
destroy everything and then rebuild, which is really cool. Um, so I think that's most of what I wanted to say for this one. It looks great. I can't wait to see it. And uh, I'm really impressed with the last few X-Men movies and how they managed to take this after X3 and really just turn the whole franchise around back again, especially with Days of Future Past and you know First Class and now this one. And man, it's just uh, it's just been such so much fun, such a treat to watch as an X Men fan. So let me know what you guys thought about uh, Apocalypse. Write it in the uh, the comments below. I love the trailer. I can't wait to see it, and uh, it'll be cool to see kind of the original X Men team minus Wolverine, of course. Uh, you know, fighting again, even the younger versions of them. Uh, it will be really interesting to see how Professor X puts Cy Cyclops and the rest Cyclops and the rest of them together. And you've got Nightcrawler in there. So just just some really fun, lots of uh, you know really awesome awesome. Stuff stuff for people that are x-men geeks like myself so uh, if you guys like this quick little review you can thumb it up below uh, if you want to help support the channel you can share you can favorite and if you're new and you want to subscribe you can subscribe at the bottom left absolutely cannot wait to see x-men apocalypse that's it for this video guys we'll see you again real soon as always this is trev and i'm saying peace